Music Mission, Episode 11, we work with the Totonaca people of the Mexican state of Veracruz. This area near Papantla, Veracruz, where the Totonaca live, has been inhabited since 5600 BC. From 600 to 1200 CE, was one home to one of the world's most thriving cities, El Tajin, the city's pyramid ruins now open to all. The legendary Totonaca are responsible for this magic flying and music act seen throughout Mexico now. Los Voladores de Papantla. All day long in Papantla and surrounding communities, men climb these poles, begin their flute and drum ritual song, and come flying down from top. We had been working for months to make a visit to the Totonaca happen with artist, arts programmer, and friend Tereque Ortiz. Tereque has told, had told us about the Erie's Orchestra, a group of studying musicians from ages 11 to 70 who was interested in collaborating and where we could perhaps be of use. We traveled to the area where the Totonaca live, about a four and a half hour bus ride from Mexico City to Costa Rica, a half an hour taxi from there to Papantla, and another short ride that we took in the morning into the green and beautiful mountains of Veracruz. It was here we got to meet our new friends in the Totonaca Orchestra. <laughs> Buenos días, yo me llamo Miguel Alexander Maldonado Elías y estoy practicando el barítono. Yo me llamo Estrella Yoselina. ¿Tocas? El clarinete. Este, mi nombre es Sarat Alexis Bernabe y toco el trombón. Mi nombre es Cecilio Hernández y toco trompeta también. The leader of the band is the great and gracious Don Lupe. On this occasion, we also had the pleasure of having the great Mexican singer, songwriter, and composer Silvana Estrada accompanying us. Para sino que simplemente es mejorar, tener todo el campo, sí, conocer todo el campo, no solo un terrenito, sino conocer un campo amplio para poder penetrar por el lado que quieres y y la ambientación que quieres hacer o el tipo de ceremonia que quieres hacer. Eso es lo que siento que ha venido para ellos ahorita. In the weeks leading up to our visit with the Totonaca, after Hurricane passed through the region and our days were delayed, I organized an arrangement of the song Jungle Earth that we could work on with the orchestra. I had the parts worked out for the different instruments and felt cool about it all, thinking an approach similar to that which I took in working with the students of SECOM would be appropriate. When we got there and began speaking with the orchestra, all of them with the parts we'd sent in advance in front of them, I started to feel that this approach was not going to be beneficial. The spirit of the band, the ages, the community, and the experience was not that of a traditional orchestra. My fault for being presumptuous, perhaps. Our goal with Music Mission is to support communities in creating and sharing their own music. This could be their traditional music or it could be new music. So with the help of Tureki and Silvana, we started to work with the band in developing an arrangement of this song together, mostly by ear. After a few hours of work, we were able to get enough of a song form together to be able to start talking with the students about improvising and directing the orchestra themselves, perhaps the most exciting part of the day. Al 
final es como es crear una comunidad en el momento, en las pocas horas que tenemos juntos, estamos apoyándonos entre nosotros y creando algo más, más grande. ¿Y si sienten, por ejemplo, cuando nos pusimos a improvisar y tal, lo que sea que hagan mientras sea honesto con lo que quieren ustedes oír, por curiosidad o porque lo que sea, está súper bien. Y lo... Se, nos viajamos a otro mundo, ¿verdad? Porque okay. cada quien tiene su, su parte y el estilo es otro estilo. Okay. Y que sí, pues, como que te prenda a la vez, ¿no? Con el ritmo. Pues es lo que siento yo. Es positiva, porque una vez de que lo sienten, tiene como una vibra entre todos que tiene algo positivo. Uh -huh. Siente el ambiente muy positivo. Uh -huh. Sentimos que estamos volando en un firmamento con esa música, pues tipo música ceremonial. Uh -huh. pero te, te levantas, pues. No sabía describirlo, ¿ah? pero sí, es sí, lo sí, que sí. siento al escucharlo. Es donde sienten ellos, ah, pues sí podemos. También sí podemos, ¿sí? Entonces. Creo que es una gran motivación final de que los haga ahorita para que ellos se dediquen más a aprender. ¿No?